In this video, I'm going to show you, show you how to solve the Alex problem called setting up a reaction table or an ice table. So in this problem, all you're going to be doing is filling in these empty boxes for the ice table. You don't actually have to solve for the X in the ice table. You just have to fill it in. The initial row is going to contain the initial molarities of each one of the components in the solution. And we have to calculate that from the moles of each one of these components and the volume of the solution. For the SO2, the moles are 0.7. The volume of the solution is 0.25. That has to be in units of liters. So the molarity here is 0.7 divided by 0.25 and um, it works out that works out to be 2.8 leave out the m symbol for molarity for the o2 we don't have any o2 initially so that's going to be a zero and then for the so3 we have two moles the volume is 0.25 liters so this is going to be eight and um, we'll put that in here doesn't say anything about sig figs, but I feel like we should probably put another sig fig on there just to make Alex happy. So in the change row, this is where we're going to be using the symbol X to represent the amount that each substance is changing. And one of the kind of tricky things about this problem is that one of these boxes in the change row is going to be already filled in for you. In this case, it's the O2. And you're going to have to use that, whatever is already filled in, to help you fill in the rest of these. Um, so um, O2 is a reactant. I'm just going to kind of draw a line right here that's going to separate our reactants from our products. So the SO2 and the O2 are the reactants, and the SO3, let me erase that arrow, get it out of the way, the SO3 is our product. Everything that is on the reactants side, the left-hand side of the arrow, needs to have the same sign for X. By that, I mean that if this is a positive X here, which it is, then all of our reactants need to have the plus sign as well. And then everything on the right-hand side of the arrow needs to have the opposite sign. So everything over here either needs to be a plus X or a minus X, uh, and then everything over here is going to be the opposite sign. So in this case, we've got plus, plus, minus. Another option, but not in this problem, would be that we would have a minus and a minus and a plus. So just make sure that your signs are the same. Um, on the same side of the arrow, and it's a different sign on the other side of the reaction arrow. The second thing that we want to pay attention to is the stoichiometric coefficients. So the, the um, number of x should correspond to the stoichiometric coefficient. By that, I mean that there's one O2, so that means there should be one x. There are two SO2, so that means there should be a two x here. There is two SO3, so there needs to be a 2x over here. And then for the last row, equilibrium, you're just going to do this math. 2.8 plus 2x, 0 plus x, 8.0 minus 2x. And this is all that you need to do. This is all that's Al that Alex is looking for with this problem. 